gathered in this room with those of us who've been trying for quite a while to achieve world peace. So welcome. I want to explain very briefly what we'll be doing. As you know, we are honored to have Wendy Sherman with us, um, and she's going to talk a little bit, I believe, about the uh, Ron Dio problem. <laughs> Uh, she'll be introduced by one of our most distinguished Scoville fellows, a fellow from 1990. Catherine Schultz is at the State Department. She's the senior advisor to the Assistant Secretary and works on all their non-proliferation issues. So current Scovilles, look out. This is what happens <laughs> when you do this. You end up deeply involved in the critical matters of our time. Then, after Wendy, we have what I think of as an increasingly fun part <laughs> in which I will just very briefly ask the Scoville Fellows current to come up, tell you who they are, where they're working, and just a word on what kinds of incredible things they're doing at some of the 25 national organizations that are part of the Scoville Fellowship and doing incredible work. I would be fired as the head of the board if I did not recognize some of the people who have made the Scoville Fellowship possible. A number of them are with us, and so I'm going to do the usual, uh, I don't call it a shout out, but I would like to recognize uh, the Carnegie Corporation of New York, and Pat Nicholas is somewhere with us. Pat, if you would just... <laughs> Associate Noel is going to be doing a video of the current Scoville Fellows that will go viral. And that's happening next week, so be prepared. We also have generous funding from, let me see, is, is Deb Rosenblum here from NTI? No, but, she's at the But we have a number of any of you who would like to claim to be the funder from NTI. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, thank you very much. Uh, Deb is a member of our board, and then and the Nuclear Threat Initiative provides funding as, as well. There's the New Land uh, Foundation, and of course those pesky people from Plowshares. <laughs> I've never figured out whether they're a foundation or an operating group or even lobbyists. I don't know. Thank you. Any Plowshares people? <laughs> Thank you. We also received funding from people who could not be here over many, many years. I want to personally thank many of you who have felt the generosity and support from Wade Green, who is the philanthropic representative of the Rockefeller Financial uh, Interests in New York. Uh, Wade has been doing this so long that he does not come to Washington uh, receptions, but I wanted to, to thank him. With that said, let's see if Oh, it's a miracle. It's like the bird. <laughs> I don't want to forget Conrad Martin uh, from the Stuart Mott Foundation. He's here. And I won't be the president of the board long if I don't recognize our board members. <laughs> if you would please just sort of waggle your hand as bravely as you can. I want to thank you. Because even with the support of the generous funders that I've talked about, this fellowship, which goes back to 1986, which has provided 26 national organizations, some 195 fellows who have been working on the key issues and with the key groups of our time, would not exist if the board, in hard times, in lean times, in good times, had not continued to make the fellowship possible. So thank you all. I think, I think you all are well aware that the fellowship is named in honor of 
Pete Scoville, uh, who many of us had the opportunity to work with. Uh, and I am always pleased to introduce a board member who is his daughter, Molly Scoville Fitzmorris, who's right up here in the front. I mentioned security and one should never joke about it after there has been an attack at the Capitol. And so I want to explain very briefly, when we finish our jollity, we will only have one exit that will be open for us to leave through a secured entrance. Uh, and I'll make, uh, and you can see me afterwards, but I will try to explain right now. You're going to want to go to the elevators, take them to the basement, and head to the northwest entrance. Uh, which is the only one that is available to exit from, uh, I believe, because of heightened security in the Capitol, uh, as you know. So I am pleased that we all made it through, through security and traffic, and that is enough. I have the pleasure of turning over this microphone and this program to Catherine Schultz, who I've already mentioned is one of our most distinguished Scoville Fellows. Catherine. Come on up and let us know about what's going to happen next. Thank you. 